This information menu is from uh, file help about annex. This is uh, the 1953 series and at least version 1973. This is built. Okay, this is going about views, views in 3D and views in drafting. Uh, I've drawn this part and if you draw this correctly then your front view I want to be this my front view oh no and this I believe let me see yes this is probably my front view then you have to make sure that if you select this that's your sketch but the views have some names this is right view so everything what you here see is projected on the right uh, right view and this is the top view I think the blue one yes top view so everything will be projected to towards you and then you have uh, the front view just you look at this as your front view so the vector starts here and goes to you uh, those views are available also um in the view group oh sorry you have to add it and the utility group there's a measurement but the view group is is uh, handy otherwise you have to find some things and in menus far away and uh, the views are also here so the front view is this and it's also here on the top down menu which we of this left view then you see the left view so this is what we want um, now we're gonna want to make a drawing with all the six views therefore we have to go to the application drawing um, drafting sorry ctrl shift d the shortcut I take this size and <coughs> it starts with top view but I want to go to front view this is a little bit big so I rescale it I think I do a ratio that's uh, one to three yeah okay um this okay then you drag this left view all views there um, the last view, the bottom view, that's a small trick. You make this active and you go to project it and you drag this one so then you have all six views. Uh, close. Um, then we'll want another view. Normally in the top right is an isometric view. Some smaller which shows shaded but uh, that we have to edit that go to this edit shading and we go to fully shaded okay what you see is uh, all views are windows uh, looking at your 3d part so if your 3d part uh, shows mesh um, garbage like this uh, access system then uh, that will show in your drafting. You can remove that going back to your modeling application and uh, hide this uh, control B or you can say here hide and that's what I did and what we also can can do is with control G object selection we give it another color that you can see deep corn flower color that's nice and we go back to the application drafting and you see that you look and you don't see the axis and you see that the color has changed what strangely enough some drafting points are created that we gonna hide so we gonna select detail filtering and we select points and we 
select uh, yes and we go to height so <coughs> so and we have our drawings uh, then I will show you some uh, things to dimension the dimensions are done here click don't try not to select the middle point try not here select the select but here select this point and then oh that's then you get the, the dimensions um, okay the hole is in standard in Dutch is dimensioned this way and therefore we have to select uh, these are intersection must be selected so that you can from add from this to this point um, in the Dutch standard or the uh, uh, UP standard it is not necessary to have a diametric symbol in front of it if you can see that is a hole if you make a section view about this then let me see yeah we select this we drag this to that side and we want to dimension this okay and then dimension may occur only once and I will take that data, then we go to rapid, we select this point and now there should be a diametrical symbol in front of it and if you wait then you get this very fancy menu there you can do lots of things and one of them is a diametrical or so cylindrical and then you get a nice cylindrical symbol in front of it and now close um, oh yeah you can also edit okay um, this is only one dimension is allowed for the hole in this drawing um, and we drag this a little bit near to the value okay there's also possible to say from okay I want to see uh, hidden views hidden lines because common hidden lines and then you say visible and we tick and then you see then you see uh, this is the left view so this edge is not seen and the holes is not seen and also this edge uh, sorry uh, uh, from this, this uh, edge is not seen. So, um, it's then you have a nice feature uh, for center lines. No, sometimes it normally creates uh, center lines automatically for holes, but if it if it doesn't do it, you can select this. And but here I will use 3D center line for this line, for this hole. You see it selects the 3D part. The 2D version is uh, is a little bit tricky. The trick is a bit, you can <laughs> create a set line on every uh, li uh, between parallel lines. That's uh, a, a trick when sometimes it does not work. But um, we don't need uh, in lines here. So. Um, I will show you uh, one thing for the. Let me see what. Uh, let me see. We're gonna have to try not to never select the middle point if you don't need it. So I did that wrong. So click and then. Um, 
is this now I'm yep habit habit okay strange habit hmm Oh yeah, that's because aha uh -huh, it takes uh, okay that was my problem. Sorry. When I use the here the menu I got a diametrical dimension. But now I'm going to go and select this, it's like this, after line we wait and then we get this uh, here you can say let me see this is if you fill in comments here here or here that's position text in front of of after of on top of the uh, text but I want to have tolerances you have all types of tolerances unilateral bilateral and so on so uh, we pay a day now maybe I'm it's not plus minus uh, limit lines that's not what I want oh yeah yes plus minus okay so you can do that um, maybe you want It. and then you go here and you go here to the f limited fits and this is a hole although if you have a shaft then you get a small letter the hole and that's a nice value h7 so and that is a, the, okay mouse button too so um, this is what I want to show you how to create as the basic views shading dimensioning and sometimes you have to be aware what happened in this this here but I like this menu a lot okay thank you for your attention